course you already know. I really ain't got to tell you too much. We all know Freddie Roach is trying to speak for Manny Pacquiao. Here's what your public don't know. Freddie Roach haven't even talked to Manny Pacquiao. He's speaking, he's doing what he does. He doesn't even represent Manny Pacquiao. He is just a trainer. So what Freddie Roach says has no bearing on anything about what Manny wants. And he's just doing what he does and promoting the fight. Now, what's happening is Manny Pacquiao's putting himself in a situation where he's going to look real bad if he don't accept this fight on March 13th. He can't open his mouth and say nothing about Floyd Mayweather forever. That's the situation he's rapidly approaching. The problem is, for those who are not in the know, as Bob Arum has stated, if you don't fight for me with him now, after the deal that he's made, you're not going to get him back in the ring again. That's already been stated. He's not going to fight you in September. He's not going to wait for you. The deal is for March. He was going to do it in May. He was nice enough to move it to March. And he, he accepted, uh, from what I've been told, he's getting more money, but he's splitting the pay-per-views 50-50 with Manny. But he's getting more money up front. Top Rank is going to promote the fight with uh, Mayweather Promotions and assisted by Golden Boy Promotions. That's how it's going to go down. Bob's happy with his money. Everybody's happy with the money. But it has to happen soon so they can set up everything for the press tour. And the only problem is Manny Pacquiao's just got to step up. They're already getting their excuses ready. First of all, isn't it the same Freddie Roach who said Mayweather, he doesn't see anything great with Mayweather? If that's the case, then why don't you fight him in March? You were already planning on fighting somebody else going up and waiting fighting in March. Why not fight Mayweather in March? Now all of a sudden Manny their drum needs to recover. You weren't know saying that when you were talking about going up to one fifty four in March. You contradict you know, you contradict yourself. So now everybody get to see how full of crap Pacquiao side is. It's only time to tell people reveal themselves. They did a lot of good work trying to mask it like Mayweather was afraid of Pacquiao. Now the truth is starting to come out of who's scared of who. Team Pacquiao doesn't look like they want any part of Floyd Mayweather right now. All these excuses. And my thing is, your excuses are already laid out. So what? You got the election to worry about. So when you get knocked out or you get dominated, you just say, we had an election. His eardrum wasn't fully recovered and we were worried about going into this fight with this eardrum. We didn't have enough time. So your excuses are already there for you. You can use them in a combination. Well, with the election and my, Manny not being able to hear all of my instructions, we couldn't win this fight. We did the best we could. Hey, use them in combination, baby. Don't worry, just have my money, get in that ring on March 13th so I can make my money and get all my money off all you pack man fans. And once I collect all my money, then you can come up with any song that you want to sing about why Manny got his ass for. I'll listen. That's what I'm here for, to be non-biased. I'm out.